All right, let's talk about in weather. You probably know most of it. Heat, humidity, spotty storms, watching the tropics, although we don't have any really imminent threats coming to our area. And then we're also talking about a meteor shower that will peak tonight and tomorrow. We'll get to all of that. But first, looking hot and humid and very August-like outside right now. Current temperatures range from the 80s to the lower 90s. The Kenner Airport shooting up again all the way to 93 at this point. And oh my, saying 109 for the feels like. However, we are looking at some spotty rain too. So on radar, notice even just after noon today, we do have a pretty good coverage of some different showers and storms and the general movement. Well, these haven't been moving too much, but is very gently off to the west with our storms today. So notice that there have been some pop up showers. One was right over Chalmette a little while ago. Now we have some across the West Bank, the edge of New Orleans East, River Ridge and over toward Jefferson and parts of uh, Jefferson Parish seeing some of that. Also farther down the river outside of Port Sulphur, some showers and a little bit showing up north of the lake too, around Mandeville and Madisonville and Covington and Slidell as well. So one of these days where we're certainly seeing the storms popping up at this point, we'll get some brief heavy rain, maybe a little minor street flooding in a couple of spots, but not a whole lot of widespread flooding it looks like. And of course, in the meantime, when it's not raining, it'll be super hot and steamy feeling. We have a big surface high and an upper high as well that's kind of dominating our scene. Tracking our rain chances through this afternoon as you make your plans. Notice there may actually, since we're seeing it fire up a bit earlier today, be a little less coverage as we get toward the later afternoon. So this model today is actually showing maybe by early, a bit earlier, maybe three, four, five o'clock, starting to see some of the rain wrapping up. And then by seven o'clock, it's looking quieter. So looking at the next few hours, you can see our rain chance. We'll keep it near 40, 50%. Keep an umbrella around. Be ready for the scattered rain, just like pretty much every day in the summer. And then later tonight looks quieter. And the Perseids peaks tonight, a very well-known and you know much anticipated shower in the middle part of August. And by the way, it's been building up. It really started with some of the meteors in late July. The peak, though, is tonight and tomorrow night. The best time to look would be midnight to about 6 a.m., but you could also maybe see a few in the evening. And you can look anywhere in the sky for these meteor showers, although the radiant point from which all of the meteors are coming is the Perseid constellation. But again, with meteors, you can kind of just see them showing up really whichever way you look. And then how many it's looking like possibly up to 50 or 60 meteors an hour. I think that's a little uh, ambitious. Maybe a lot of times it's a little bit harder to see, as you know, if you try to see it in the city itself with the lights, but the moon shouldn't be too bright tonight. Uh, it was a new moon just a few nights ago, so hopefully it'll be a pretty good night to watch. Tropical Storm Fred, we will get into that again, and we've been talking a lot about Fred. We were talking about its structure, just starting to see it kind of gather a few clouds and not so much an exposed western side as it's about to cross over Espanola, which of course is the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Then it will move around in north of Cuba, and this is the range where we've been saying it might try to increase in intensity a little bit. In the next day or so, it might actually fall from a tropical depression or storm back to a depression. Its winds will probably weaken as it has not only the land interaction, but also some wind shear and also some dry air. Models have been in pretty good consensus and our thinking for the weekend steering is still the same, a kind of weakness in the ridge, a high out to our west and northwest, kind of weakening a bit and following this high around off to the north. I did want to point out here is where Fred's moisture is right now and look at all this dry air, some dry air out here over north of Cuba too. some actually right off the coast of Florida. So we will see if that plus some wind shear, which has been coming in and kind of making it not quite as strong as maybe it could be at this point. All of these things are going to play a role, but once it gets into this part of the Gulf, that's when it might intensify maybe to a stronger tropical storm and not out of the question to see it become perhaps a low end hurricane, but time to see how that develops. Notice most of the rain and any impacts would be off to the middle and really more toward the um, eastern side of the storm that would leave us with little to no impacts from Fred. So we will continue watching really closely. This is how it's looking right now. And again, kind of nice to see the consistency in the model runs, especially as far as that track has been concerned, even over the past several days and likely moving into the end of this week too. All right, we're all watching it. Thanks so much, Alexandra.